Hi guys, welcome back. We have one more exponent rule to talk about that's super important. The power to a power rule, okay? And when we have a power to a power rule, we can multiply the exponents. And I'm going to show you with an easy example why that works. So like if I have x squared to the third power, what that means is I have x squared three times. Well, I know x squared is really x times x, and this x squared is x times x, and this squared is x times x. So conveniently, we ended with x to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right? Well, the shorthand is 2 times 3 equals 6. Okay, so that's our, our trick. So product rule, remember we multiply the bases, so we add the exponents. Quotient rule, if we divide the bases, we subtract the exponents. Zero product property means, it, or not zero product property, I apologize. Zero exponent rule would mean anything to the zero power is one. Now we have the power to a power, you multiply. So kind of my trick to remember is these parentheses kind of make like a little X, like the time symbol, okay? So that can kind of help you remember. So this would be four to the 21 because three times seven is 21. What do you think this one would be? Well, this would be four to the negative sixth. But we don't like negative exponents, so this would really be 1 over 4 to the 6th. Hopefully you remember to fix that. Okay. Now this one, there's a 1 here. Okay. So this really means 4x to the 3rd times 4x to the 3rd times 4x to the 3rd times another 4x to the 3rd times another 4x to the 3rd. So notice I still have one, two, three, four, five fours. So I need to distribute that five to the one and the three. So this becomes four to the fifth, x to the 15th. So you have to distribute to every piece inside of there that would be separated by a multiplication sign. Because remember there's a little tiny invisible multiplication sign between four and x, okay? So this would be my final answer here. You don't have to write all of these out. I was just trying to explain to you why we have to distribute to the 4, not just to the x cubed. If 4 had been outside the parentheses, don't distribute to it. All right. Why don't you go ahead and try this one? And we can leave it in exponent form, okay? So this would be 3 needs to distribute to every single piece. Remember, the 4 has a 1 and the y has a 1 exponent. So this would be 4 to the 3rd x to the negative 6, y to the 3rd. Again, that is not my final answer because negative exponent. So we have 4 to the 3rd, y to the 3rd, over x to the 6th. Okay? So again, only thing that has a negative exponent is that 6. So that's the only thing that moves down. Okay? We don't move the 4 to the 3, we don't move the y to the 3 because those both have positive exponents. All right. I hope this video finds you well, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.